Mashed potatoes! <laughs> On the tee for Europe, Sepp Straka. One of nine different nationalities in the European team. Just the second Austrian to play in the Ryder Cup. And a rookie appearance for Sepp Straka. and Lowry out of the really thick stuff. Oh, 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 oh. Got himself a reasonable line there as well. Neck for neck. These two toe for toe. Short game clinics coming our way with a bit of luck. Players got to be really, really got to think about, okay, so if I do miss this, where do I miss this and how can my, my partner attack the flag? This is going to be a really challenging shot out of the rough. Lie looks reasonable. Go, yeah. Yeah, that, that's kind of a, a great lead right there for, for Colin. That's a great shot from him. He put himself right back in position yeah, to make a four and sort of Fly the bunker. Where. Fowler, he has enough firepower to make it over the sand. 295 to carry. Look to be just short of the quite remarkable. That is why we love this championship. Well, we're hearing that uh, Morikawa has found a passing service here. This is Straka's reply for the Europeans. Get up a little tear, and it does. Just about when it stay. Oh, I don't think it will. So many little shelves on these greens. You hit a good shot and disappoint. Up a little tear just there, then it flattens a little bit. I think it's match play, isn't it? Everything is so important, just as this one. They're, co they're so costly, should you miss. This is the third hole, and Ricky Fowler. Once again, the Americans have laid back off the tee here. That's heading down the left side. Straight into the crowd. And that is very lie dependent, isn't it, Howler? It certainly is. Shay Lowry at the third. Oh, it's following Ricky Fowler by the look of it. Where is it? What a shot from Shay oh, Lowry. Out. Really well off that left side. Off the slope there, and look where that's finished. A little local knowledge, Dom. He knew that slope was there. I don't think he was aiming for it. Overturned it. Likes to shape the ball, Shane. Got this one turning too far to the left. He'll have been worried at this point. No, he wasn't. Oh, no, he's delighted. Advantage you're here on the third. Oh, right to Colin Morikawa. It's at the fourth. Just trying to play off the back foot and just run it up there. They know Lowry's close. That was a really good effort there. Right to that missed in the nicest possible way because he did make a, a shocking error. 
Beautiful tee shot from Shane Lowry at the fourth for the Europeans, and Sepp Stracker makes the putt. That's a two. And they move two up over Fowler and Morikawa. That's the key, isn't it? Football parlance, one goal up is nice, but two feels like you're in charge. That the nerves are jangling but they're into this now and these are the best players in the world by this time you're as settled as you can possibly be the greens are perfect um, but of course you have your moments every I think it's match play isn't it everything is so important just as this one they they're so costly should you miss different beast than stroke play golf that we watch week in week out drop zone Larry genius oh. with a wedge normally oh. to get this up and down this is oh, Ricky Fowler from the fringe grass at number seven Coming down, going right. Easy. Easy, fella. Easy. Boy, that was quick when we just saw a putt go pretty slow, and all of a sudden that one just started to roll real fast by the hole. Man, these things switch and flip power position so quickly. It really does, and that green is so severe. And it's a totally different sequence. Back a hole to seven, and Shane Lowry for the win. Can everybody leave that putt short? It's so slow. And we saw it from Ricky, right? See the speed that Ricky's putt came down tells you it's a really steep slope right there. But hey, that's a great, uh, great three. On it. Yeah, we might lose a ball this week. It's that bad. I mean, there's a lot of people out there, but it is very, very deep. Long putt here for Morikawa coming up and across this slope. Very difficult to judge the speed. It's not, I mean, it's only, it's only a foot, two foot out, you know, from once it gets over the slope, get in there, and there's there's meat left on that. Oh, there he is there, up against it right now, US. Back on the ninth. Chance to win the hole, to go four up. Oh. Yeah. Well, the of a wave right now, Team Europe. That's as animated as you might ever see Seth Strecker. After Lowry found the penalty area at 10. So it looks like they've dropped it a long way back there on line to, to drop it onto a decent, a decent cut. Uh, it just hasn't got up that big ridge at the front of the group. The Americans there. Yes. They've all been a little out of sorts down the 11th. This for a par for Shane Lowry. US also with a par putt coming, albeit a little bit close up. Five. Oh, you can see the marker just by his left foot. We've got a nice read off that as well. Two bogus in a row, the Europeans. And they lost one of the holes. Will they lose both? Unbelievable. To the past three, 13th and a birdie putt here for Shane Lowry. And they're ready to cheer. They're ready to cheer. Agonizing from Lowry. He could combust by the end of the week, Shane. Got to be close here right for Shane. Chance for Ricky Fowler here to Make birdie, win the hole at 13. Up and over the ridge there, and down and round it comes. Looks good. Finally, for the United States, a putt drop. Yeah, then you see that they work, and it gives you comfort. 
as we watch Larry to win the hole on 14, right to left, down the hill. Brilliant. Not quite. There's a final try. And a par could be good enough there, David. The American short of the green. Yes, the lacklustre third from Fowler gives them work to do to get out of that hole with a half. Otherwise, they're going three down. Woefully short from Colin Morikawa. And it's another big advantage walking to the 15th tee for a European pairing. This time, Lowry and Lowry is second. Mid iron. Go. 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 It went, Shane. It went the perfect distance. 20 feet behind the hole. Rifling. An iron shot. Well, the Americans also in the fairway. Just a little bit further up. This is Ricky Fowler. Just the pressure again by Shane Lowry. You, they make mistakes. It's a tough ask, isn't it? And there's an opportunity here. For Shane <laughs> and Stracker to make that happen. Uh, yeah, well, Shane Lowry and Seth Stracker with a 95% chance of winning here. Not bad numbers, that, Dom, is it? <laughs> You'd take it, wouldn't you? You would match play. Always expect the worst. Mm -hmm. Expect your opponents to pop the bunker shot in. Something will turn at some point. Might not be this morning. Well, Victor Hovland was down there a short while ago and very nearly popped it in. And all of a sudden, things can look different, but mm -hmm. rightly so. Shane smiling away, enjoying the moment. Just beware. I feel slightly deprived. No one, no match has made it to the 16th yet. That little par four down the hill with water on the right hand side. Exciting hole. We will see that. Just nestled down slightly, isn't it? This one. Helpful. Means he's not going to spin it too much, get the ball rolling at the hole. He has to hold it. And sometimes the lack of spin can be helpful. Do or die moment for Marikawa. It, didn't he, Stephen? It was one you could really... Right, because you assume that they're going to get a point, but they knew, I mean, you're going against Fleetwood Mac. I mean, that is an incredible pairing. So the U.S. given an opportunity here. Hopefully Fowler can take advantage, get this on the green, not even watching it. Great shot. Great shot. This is a little momentum, just just a little. This is like a little pebble in the, the river here. Hopefully going to dam it up a little bit, stop them bleeding here. This could be the perfect match play one, though, where Shane Lowry's ball's okay. Let's, let's not talk about that, okay? He's in <laughs> Sorry, trouble. I don't think he's going to be able to find it. <laughs> we shall see. I'm not sure they can believe what they've seen out there this morning. It's been slightly bizarre in some ways. Two fairly evenly matched teams on paper. If anything, I think most people thought the, the United States team was that little bit stronger on paper. I'm sure Zach Johnson's speech this morning would be to, you know, calm, quieten down the crowd. And that's not worked out too well, has it, Hunter? Uh, it's louder than it's ever been, I'd say. I mean, this is really... Look at all the people. This is really an incredible sight. And uh, the Europeans have really taken just those early leads, right? It seemed in the first few holes they got a lead. And all of a sudden, that's just built and built. And when you've got a leader like John going out there, this, Not, is, this is the time. And this is the player to do it. He's fantastic at these shots. It's solid, solid, not great, but solid, right? He's, he's doing the right thing. I think he's a little disappointed in that. I think he was thinking the same thing, right? Like at this moment, if you're the Americans, you need a little a jolt, right? What, what 
John uh, Rom did with his chip in, with what Victor did in his chip in. I mean, they had so much momentum early. And the U.S. is just feels like nothing right now. They're just kind of barely moving. It's like they're in quicksand right now, and the, and, and the Europeans just kind of flying around and just having so much energy. Hunter, inevitably, there are going to be questions asked depending on how these ties go out about how little golf most of the Americans have played since the conclusion of the FedEx Cup playoff series and did they come in undercooked? I know Wyndham Clark had some thoughts about that and how it might play out on Sunday, maybe in the Americans' favour, but do you think that's a possible explanation of what we're seeing? Just not sharp enough? I mean, that's, that's a good question. That's only something the players can really answer whether or not they got enough sort of real reps in or they thought they were going to be rested and kind of focused and be able to come into this. There's, there's, there's I like, you could see an answer for both, and they might not be wrong. But the fact is, you knew when you have to come to play, and you got to get ready to play. And they just they just haven't been sharp, right? It seems just seems like when there's an opportunity, this is just full send, go right at it. And, and, I mean, hit it, then, hit it within three feet, hit it within five feet, 190. This is a great chance to make birdie and get some more momentum and see, you know, all of a sudden the, the, the guys behind you see that. You know, this could be a big momentum shift for the U.S. Definitely that can happen, the guys behind. Even even a fight back from the from the third group can push the fourth group on. They can say, come on, we can, we've can. maybe got a chance here. Maybe the door's open. But you're right, Hunter, he's just got to try and put the pressure on here. One of the best iron players in the world. Be right. Be right. But that is not what Morikawa and Team USA needed right there. To 15, third shot now for McElroy. Advantage into the closing three holes. This is for the victory for Sepp Stracker to win the match and add another point for Team Europe. And again, how quickly things can change. Unbelievable there. Colin Morikawa could have changed the whole uh, system. If he, if he hits the green and puts uh, them under pressure, it could all change. Like the last hole as well, just roll it down to the hole. Make Tommy Fleetwood hold the 25-footer. Europe 3, the United States 0. One match left out on the course of these morning foursomes. Big energy in the Europe camp here. There's that emotion you never see from Shane from week to week, but he brings it out in the Ryder Cup, and it's it's immense. It, this, was it a, on. this was a great pairing, right? I mean, Seth and Shay. Shane, it was sort of you didn't maybe get the connection, but when you watch him out there, you can see that Shane was really helping Seth calm down, enjoy the moment, having a little bit more fun out there than just thinking it's the Ryder Cup and there's a lot of pressure. Great choice by Luke, and, and these guys really delivered today. There's the putt again. And again, how quickly things can change. Unbelievable there. Colin Morikawa could have changed the whole uh, system. If he, if he hits the green and puts uh, them under pressure, it could all change. Like the last hole as well, just roll it down to the hole. Make Tommy Fleetwood hold the 25-footer. Europe 3, the United States 0. One match left out on the course of these morning foursomes. To watch another Ryder Cup video, click here and subscribe here.